Here's a painting I did some years ago. One of the first decisions an artist must make is how big the canvas is going to be. I made this one 36 inches by 25 inches. What you are looking at now is not my painting, but a digital photograph of my painting. I took this with my iPhone 10. The photo itself has a measurement, but it's in pixels, not inches. This digital photograph is 4,032 pixels wide by 3,024 pixels tall. I'm not a painter anymore, and I'm not even really a photographer. I make videos about artists. The HD video screen also has a measurement in pixels. It is 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. I often ask artists to send me pictures of their art and always ask them to send me high resolution images. Many times they send digital photos that are much smaller in size than the movie screen itself. That may just be an accident. If they shot it with an iPhone, it's likely plenty big enough. But an Apple email allows four different attachment sizes. Small, medium, large, or actual size. Always send me actual size. But why is a small photo a problem for me or any digital filmmaker? It's because if you stretch a low resolution photo to fit on the movie screen, it will look bad, losing much of its sharpness and clarity. I made this blue rectangle to be exactly 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, the movie screen size. Now I place a medium version of the photo on the screen. See how small it is? It's only 640 pixels by 480 pixels and way too small to fit on the screen. Here is my original full-size photo on that same movie screen. The photo is much bigger than the screen, so you can't see any of the blue screen. Now in this image, you see the boy twice. The left one is from the actual size photo, which I shrunk down. The right one is from the medium size photo, which I had to stretch up. I love to show details of paintings. In this last image, I show the boy's head twice. The left is from the actual size photo at 100% of its resolution. In other words, I didn't have to shrink it or stretch it. The one on the right is the boy's head from the medium size photo, but I had to stretch it to make it appear as big as the one on the left. Notice how you can see the canvas grain on the left one, but just a blur on the right. Another thing I love doing is the Ken Burns animation effect. You can do a slow zoom over a painting. It works great if you have a high resolution photograph. Not at all good on a low resolution one. Two last issues, file format and DPI. There are different file formats. What I care about is how many pixels wide and tall the photo is. A JPEG and a TIFF will look exactly the same on a screen, but the TIFF will be a much bigger file size. If you send me TIFFs, I will just have to convert them to JPEGs. Now DPI. Some artists might say, oh, my photo is 200 DPI or 300 DPI, so it must be really big. DPI or dots per inch is only relevant for the printing of digital photographs and has nothing whatsoever to do with the pixel dimensions of the photo. 
So in conclusion, if you're sending me photos of your artwork for a movie, please send me high-resolution JPEGs. Thank you very much.